Yo, what is up guys, for today we're talking about Destiny 2, now specifically we're going to be looking at the raids and dungeons in Destiny 2. Now hopefully this video is going to be shorter than the last video, but this one's going to be mostly talking about raids and dungeons obviously, and mostly about the rewards and mainly rewards and difficulty honestly. So hopefully this video won't be too long, but we'll, we'll just wait and see. So. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the fact that raids need normal and heroic difficulties back. And I would actually argue we need one more difficulty, which would be matchmaking. Now, I know a lot of the community in general does not like the idea of having matchmaking raids. And to that, I think it's kind of bullshit because there's other games like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV that have matchmaking raids. And it works well because not only let's say a ran like let's say i'm new to destiny 2 and i just pop into a matchmaking raid matchmaking it, like like if we have it as a difficulty like matchmaking than normal than heroic that's literally only going to be for people that are like new blueberries or solo players i see no issue with this at all considering we already have a solo playlist in the comp and it's one of the most beloved ones so i would love it if we could have our own like so like lone wolf uh matchmaking for raids and stuff like that because i don't have a raid i don't have a team and i would just love to do a raid without like having to get up five more other people make sure they have the weapons i want make sure they're that the light level that i want and like just all this fucking rigmarole when all you really need is matchmaking and then just have a you need to have a base stats of this and then that's it like literally like oh you have to be this light level and then that's really it like just light level and then like a level like you have to be level 40 or whatever the level is right now and then you have to be level of a light level of like whatever 980 or something that would be fine in my opinion because not only do you have to light like level up to get into that matchmaking but then after that there's probably going to be veterans like me that are in it that have already done it and, and i could just explain it to like oh do you guys know how to do this no okay cool let me just explain it to you real quick or for a console just you have to have a mic that's it that's really it it's not that hard so matchmaking is one thing i would always love to see in like pretty much every play playlist activity ever for me at least it doesn't have to be like the top of the top but like like i said raids definitely would like what i would love to see one especially if we can have different armor sets for like normal heroic and matchmaking not saying like all out different looks like different colors would be nice i mean that's how wow and final fantasy 14 do it at least i know for a fact wow does it like that so you could have it to a point where it's like matchmaking and normal have the same armor but the normal one just looks a little bit better and then the the heroic which is like mythic or whatever that's the like the big dick armor like oh shit that looks cool so at that point i would love it it would actually become more of an mmo in my opinion and normal and heroic difficulty need to come back but not only that if you guys see in Destiny 1 right now, I should have it in the screen right now. And essentially, this is my hunter. I've been playing with him since beta. He's just one of my characters. It's, it's really weird. I love this character. But this is the armor from King's Fall, one of my favorite raids from Destiny 1. And this is actually the heroic version of the armor. The normal version is just like the same thing, but just different colors. Not only that, but it just looks cool. It's one of my favorite armor sets. But if you guys see right here, these two right here are from the same raid. This one being Bone Marrow, that, which you have to collect the normal armor except the class item. And then this one's the heroic one. So I would love for dungeons or raids to have this back again because this is where the prestige happened this is where uh, aside from the weapons and and shit like that but the fact like when you when you saw someone with bone marrow when this was still like available or not available but when this was still like active you knew oh shit that guy's a raider that guy did all the normal but if you saw someone with this armor or this shader 
that's how you knew oh fuck that guy raids that guy raids hard too because king's fall was not easy but it wasn't like the hardest shit in the world but it was hard it was pretty it was pretty wild so when you saw someone with not only all the armor but the shader to go with it you knew that guy that guy fucking that's cool i remember one of my favorite moments from destiny 1 is when i ended up getting glowhu now if you guys don't know glowhu glowhu is the heroic shader from uh crota crota's end and i remember when all my me and my friends got this shader we were hype as fuck because if i remember correctly you got it from just beating him in heroic not like how it is in uh oryx which i think oryx is a better better one in my opinion a little bit more prestigious but when we got this we went to the tower and the first thing we did was put on glowhu and i'm not even kidding a crowd of guardians were like just looking at us we got messages like oh shit, where'd you get that that's what i miss i miss going to the tower to show off i miss the showmanship of like oh fuck, i got something cool that's what i miss because it's not even just these like those it's the fact that chatter white you want it to look all white this is from atheon you want something purple and highlighted this is from poe prison of elders when you have to kill uh whatever his name is big fuck off uh, fallen dude but same thing same thing with the wrath of the machine this looks amazing and then we have like the armor from the moments of triumph or whatever it's called like that red hurts my eyes it's that cool but this is from oryx shit looks super cool like it looks like the base armor but just a little bit more color which i love it's this is what i miss i miss the fact that shaders were actually prestigious shaders actually meant something now they're just a currency now it's just like oh I, well i got mine from eververse i got mine from a weapon from a raid that i had to dismantle like you know how much of a bummer that is that oh where'd you get that shader i got it when i was doing uh what i was doing when i did last wish i got a curated role on a weapon that i didn't like and then i just dismantled it for the shader you know how much that fucking sucks man so i really miss the prestige of pretty much all this it's like acquire king's fall arms armor hard mode electric aquarius looks cool like i really just miss that i miss like some of these shaders people would try to get for hours guys and i know this is probably talking more about shaders right now but it's more of just the prestige like let me let me give you another another example some of the weapons in destiny one were probably some of the best weapons uh in all of destiny to be honest i know fate bringer gets a lot of flack or or people people are blowing it out of proportion it wasn't that good i don't know man i wanted it really badly and i never got it mostly because i just have really shit luck with that but i had other weapons as well i have like all of the weapons from atheon the first time i have fang of ear you like some of these weapons were some of the best weapons in the game like i have the hard defiance of yasmin one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game it's It just really sucks because a lot of the weapons in destiny 2's raids are just very lackluster to garbage like it's really sad that we're at that point where some of the armor and weapons are just kind of like whatever's like i could probably tell you off the top of my head two weapons from destiny 2's like lifespan of raids that i would use a lot and that's like what was it a, a hand cannon from leviathan the i forgot what it's called but i'll probably have it up in the screen right now that one i used forever and then <sighs> threat level from scourge of the past and then there's like the hand cannon from last wish that was basically like a uh, fate bringer to like 1.0 or whatever like like its little brother 
and that's pretty much it there was never an, like a weapon that where you were like oh shit you need to get this it's from the raid man get get this get this it was never i i ne don't remember anything like that aside from maybe the hand cannon from that raid i just talked about uh leviathan so that's another thing i think if you guys are going to start sunsetting make raid weapons fucking amazing again there's there's actually no 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 there's no way you can tell me no we still can't do that because it'll break the game how you guys are sunsetting weapons it'll go away later it's just it's disappointing it's disappointing when the only reason i want the supremacy from destiny 2 last wish is only because i have the supremacy from the original event in destiny 1 like this i i got this this is from the first time the first event which was like uh the queen related event and it just it pisses me off that we've had so many cool raids come out from destiny 2 but none of the weapons and most of the armor have just been okay okayish at best here is another kind of this is more of a me thing than a anything else but realistically for me i would love it but for me like i would love it if destiny 2 all of the raids got a revamp of like kind of like how destiny 1 had it with its moments of triumph if i remember correctly that's what it's called i would love for all of the armors from all of the raids to actually be enemy themed not like oh this is armor that looks prestigious no Give me armor that looks like Cabal armor. Give me armor that looks like Fallen armor. Give me armor that looks like Insert Enemy here. Because the fact that we have... What was it? What's it called? Uh, The one from Menagerie. The fact that we have that raid and it doesn't have Hive-themed armor pisses me off to no end. The fact that just we don't have any enemy-themed armor in the game aside from a few eververse pieces pisses me off to no like end it oh that's that's one thing that pisses me off i it's just raids just need a lot of help and i feel like if we start doing a few of these changes then it'll it'll get it back to where it used to be where dungeons were actually prestige moments that's another thing we need heroic moments in destiny again now if you guys don't know what heroic moments are it's basically let's say hypothetical you and your team are doing a raid and then you guys all die except one hunter and the only way the hunter is not going to die is if they can go invis and res each and every one of you do you know how crazy heroic moments were in destiny one when i actually died and then everyone else died but then a warlock like used their super to come back to life and then spawned everyone back or spawn me specifically because I can go invisible and res everyone. The fact that everyone died except one person and they just need a little bit of damage left to kill the boss and they were there to do that little bit of damage. Like, the reason I'm saying this specifically is because I feel like Bungie's too much into the whole, oh, everyone needs to have a job, everyone needs to do something because if everyone's doing something we don't have those heroic moments we don't have those hype ass moments where we're all dead and it's just like dude you better not fuck up oh, come on come on hurry up hurry like that moment yeah that we don't have those that much so i would love it if they eased up on mechanics and just kind of like gave us destiny 2 destiny 1 raids again those were the best ones in my opinion we had a lot of heroic moments there was a lot of heroic moments for me where like we were about to wipe and I did something that saved us or someone did something to save us. I, I feel like heroic moments are something we need again. And last but not least, dungeons. I can't pull th from Destiny 1, but I really don't need to because dungeons are actually pretty cool. I like Shattered Throne a lot. I love, love Pit of Heresy. Pit of Heresy is like probably one of my favorite pieces of content in Destiny 2. I just love everything about it. But my issue with it is that there's no there's no exclusive reward that only comes from that event. Like there's no exclusive reward that comes from Pit of Heresy or Shattered Throne, which is just a huge, huge mis missed opportunity in my opinion. I would have loved to see like some Crimson Hive armor themed armor from Pit of Heresy and then the three weapons that drop from the event in the moon 
you could have just put that into the pit of heresy uh loot pool and i would have been like this is a mini fucking raid with its own rewards and loot pool this shit is fire and then for the event just have three other weapons or something else it's, it wouldn't even have been that hard because it was already reskins from another armor or from another weapons uh pieces so i would have loved to see pit of heresy have its own armor and uh, like three weapons uh, like exclusive weapons that only came from pit of heresy because at that point people have no right to bitch because you can see you could you could play do that shit by yourself i did that by myself i do it by myself hell i even have the like fuck off do it with by yourself with no one and don't die i have that emblem i have it it's not that hard it is hard but it like just do it and for shattered throne honestly i would have loved to see like some sort of knight themed armor again but pieces of your armor is like taken or being taken like it would have been cool to see something unique from the dungeons and like maybe three three new weapons that only come from that like activity the fact that we don't see that is just very disappointing because dungeons is an awesome idea i love the fact that that bungie did dungeons because it's it's one of my it's some of the, my favorite content in destiny to be honest if we had dungeons in destiny one destiny one would have been even more legendary than it is right now but unfortunately it's just that pit of heresy and well just pit of heresy because i don't think shattered throne is a uh, worth doing anymore but pit of heresy is just mostly if you want to gain, gain gain levels it's not like oh i have this like uh hive themed armor that i got from pit of heresy no it's just like oh i get i get a lot of powerful stuff from it and even like the last box from pit of heresy gives you like don't get me wrong it gives you like a a master piece of armor but the rolls on it are just absolutely abysmal even after the changes that they did it's still pretty bad sometimes and with that activity especially with that activity minimum 60 minimum 60 like stats to that i don't care how you distribute them if it's like oh 60 but the stat distribution is pretty garbage it's still 60 it's fine to me i'm not expecting a god roll from each run but i'm expecting at least 60 because then it's like oh it's a 60 but the, the stat distribution distribution is not that that great that's fine that would still bug me but it would be more of a like oh at least it's not a fucking 48 or 58 oh so yeah that's pretty much it for dungeons uh raids like i said i already put a bunch of stuff for points i'll probably have the points in like a, a list right now because i do have a lot of things to say about the dungeons and raids mostly raids because i feel like raids is such a important part of destiny and destiny's uh identity that the fact that we're not taking better better care of destiny's uh raids and just all around like high-end activities is a little alarming especially when it's just that was such a huge part of destiny one and i know a lot of people are leaving due to so many reasons and done and raids being just kind of garbage is definitely one of them so bungie please please fix dungeons and raids i would love a matchmaking difficulty i would love heroic and normal difficulties coming back and i would love shaders being locked behind certain achievements or get all the armor from that that raid because at that point it's more prestigious make weapons amazing again because now that you have sunsetting quote unquote that should not be a problem make something that's stupid powerful and then be like it's fine because it's from the raid it should drop stupid powerful the only thing i have like maybe the weapons like heroic weapons should be the powerful ones and then normal and matchmaking should be like good weapons but not like garbage weapons so Heroic should definitely have like the guns that's like, oh, this is the gun you're going to want if you want to do like X amount of things. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the video and about my opinion and thoughts and everything in the comment below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Be safe out there, guys. Uh, a lot of shit's happening out in the world that I can't talk about. But yeah, just be safe and I uh, will see you guys later.